guys! Today I wanted to do a video um, based on just stuff that I've been using a lot recently. If you are not aware, and I don't even know if I've shared this information with you guys, but my boyfriend and I did move into our own apartment together. We've been moving in for about a week, a little longer than a week now, and things still just aren't the way that they should be, and I needed to get some content out there. So, yeah. I don't wear a lot of makeup as of now. For like the middle part of March, I haven't worn a ton of makeup, which like sucks, but that's okay. But I've just been transitioning to a new job as well as the new apartment. And also, um, we had three baby chinchillas and they were born on March 18th. And I will have a more in-depth video on them going up later. But just a lot has been going on and new changes have happened since we've moved and it's been a really crazy and fun experience. So vlogs and videos have been very scarce and like few and far in between and that's not what I wanted with the channel but unfortunately that is what's happening as of now just because so much has happened. But I wanted to be able to get this bonus video ready for you guys this week and I'm trying to put together the huge vlog I'm going to have for Saturday because I will have like... A little bit about the baby chinchillas in there as well as our moving vlog all into one. I was just so tired I couldn't deal. So I do have like the main videos ready. I just don't have the bonus videos ready. So that is something that I am a little bit behind on. So if you don't get a bonus video um, until the end of March, you'll know why just because I'm transitioning. But let's go ahead and get into the video and talk about my recent favorites, everything that I've been grabbing since I do have an office job. I do need to look the part. So this is what I've been grabbing recently. So I got this foundation. This is the Kat Von D Locker foundation for my birthday. And I'm a little bit uh, less than halfway there um, to, uh, you know, being done with the products. I do have a review. It did go up this week, so the link for that will be down below. But I've been loving this and been using it every day. And then every day I set my foundation with the Airspun Powder, which this is nothing new. I've been doing this for quite some time, and this is in the uh, translucent shade. I guess there are different shades, which I just thought there was one, but there are others. This is just the translucent shade. Translucent shade. And to moisturize, moisturize my lips every day, I've just been using a um, chubby lip balm from Walmart. I got these around Christmas time and they were a dollar each. So I have like three of these and they're really, really good. This one's Piper. Or no, it's not. I don't remember what your name is, but they had names and stuff and they're very moisturizing. I really do like these guys. So if you see anything like that at Walmart and they're a dollar, give those a try because they're really great. And to moisturize my skin every day, I've been using the Moisture Rescue um, Refreshing Gel Cream for Dry Skin by Garnier. And this is just something I've used forever. You've heard me talk about this for a very long time. Um, I normally mix this in with my foundation, though, just so everything happens all at once. And it's just a lot quicker. And my mascara every day is the Josie Marin Argan Black Oil Mascara that I absolutely love. This is just like a little trial size, but I definitely want to purchase this in the future. Just because the packaging is so pretty and the formulation is just beautiful. Like, it's so pretty. I love the formula. And I don't normally like for like high-end mascaras because I have naturally long lashes and they have a little bit of volume, but... So I feel like every mascara kind of looks good on me. It's just what matters most is the wear time for me. So that's what is going on there with the mascara. Um, I have a lot of brushes in here. I feel like that's everything I've been using. Well, this I also use a lot as well. And then this is my Milani True Black Eyeliner Pencil, and this guy I've used a lot. He is my favorite. I've had him for a while, but I use this, like, pretty regularly. I didn't do it today, but I do use those items I just mentioned every single day, most for, for the most part. And then these are some if I want to get full face glam, and then, or just like full face, this is what I would use. Um, so this is the e.l.f. Lash Tint Mascara in Naked Noir. Really good product as well. 
Um, I am doing an elf, a massive elf haul that will have a bunch of reviews for these products coming up in the next few weeks as the main video. So that one is like on its way coming out soon. So I've been loving this one. And the e.l.f. Um, HD Lifting Concealer in Fair. I've used this underneath my foundation to get rid of the dark circles or to prime my eyelids and things like that. So I've used that. Um, this is my Victoria's Secret All or Nothing Highlighter. This is my favorite highlighter and the one I use all the time. So it's like my go-to. And I just love it. It's so pretty and just fun and pink and flashy. So I really do like this um, quite a lot. Oh, this is something I also use every day that I didn't mention before, but this is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade Taupe. I absolutely love these brow pencils. They're $2. They come with a spoolie, and they also have, like, the um, end for the eyebrow. These are really, really great, so definitely worth the $2, and they last a really long time, so I love that. Um, I have my Tweezer Man Eyelash Curler in here. I've got my Benefit Box Blush in Dandelion, which is just a wonderful, natural, everyday color that I would like to use sometimes. This is my Hard Candy Baked Bronzer in 132 Heat Wave. This is another favorite. Never gets old for me. I would definitely repurchase that if it's like going to be gone anytime soon. And if I ever want to do any eyeshadow, I decided to start using my Kat Von D um, eyeshadow palette in Beethoven. It's got some really nice neutral shades and you can do a smoky eye if you need to. But I just pulled this one because it's my go-to. Um, I've had it for a while and it just gets the job done nice and quickly. And I just love the shades that are in here. My favorite kind of colored eye look is a purple eye, but um, there also are some great neutrals. And if I ever do need to smoke anything out, I have the appropriate colors in here to do that with. So that's why it was just like, it covered all the bases and I didn't have to bring like 20 other palettes that were like giant. So that's why I brought that. And then I have the e.l.f. Volume Plumping Mascara with me because this one does provide a lot of volume. But... I still love the Josie Marin Argan Oil, but this one is really good as well. Um, it just, I don't think it lengthens as much, but again, this is mentioned in my review as well, and this one's in black. Alright, and that's it for all the products, and these are the brushes that I've been using, and I've probably mentioned these a couple of times before. Some of these I have names for, some of them I've done videos on and things like that so I'll let you know if there's a video and it will be linked down below but this is my um, powder brush I've been using picked this up from TJ Maxx I have no idea the brand or anything it's got this really cute floral band and it's just a pink bristle and I just like dust on powder with this just by tapping it on and then I'll wipe it away with the kabuki I've packed but this is just one of my brushes I always use and I've been switching in between these two brushes for foundation and this one is the Sigma Dupe foundation brush. Um, I have a video for these so I'll link it down below but I've been using that. I did use it today so it needs cleaned but I love these brushes. They're really great or I've used this one which I'm going to be doing a separate video on and it's basically an artiste brush dupe. So the video for this will be coming soon but I just love the way that this applies. <clears throat> And then to wipe away the excess powder, I've been using my Tokidoki Kabuki brush, and I just um, dust away any excess powder, blend all the colors together if, like, I've decided to do blush or bronzer. This has been a really great tool for me. And then to do bronzer, I use my giant powder brush from, or just a big fluffy powder brush from Sony Kashuk. Um, and I love this because it just gets, like, right here, and you're good to go. I don't know, there might be some more color on here than I anticipated, so we'll just put it on both sides. But that's just what I do with that. And then for blush, I have this blush brush from Sony Kashuk. And then for highlighter, I have a Flirt Stippling brush from Flirt Cosmetics. And those are just what I've used all the time. And then I have like a little jar of all my eyeshadow brushes, but I'm not going to go through them because it just really depends on what I'm doing. And I haven't done eyeshadow in a really long time. I did do it a little bit today, but that was it. And that's everything for my most used, gotta have, must have products right now. These are kind of my favorite must haves of March since I'm not doing a lot of beauty 
videos or just I'm not doing a lot of makeup recently and that kind of sucks it's just because my beauty room is not set up the way I need it to be normally I would have a gold background behind me but that's not happening either I do have a fun couch to sit on now so I can like chill and talk to you guys which is what I'm sitting on now but as you can see there's a bunch of things on it and I'm not cleaning it off because I don't know what to do I'm so overwhelmed with the whole moving process that I'm surprised I'm even like ready I've got foundation on like this Foundation took me like five seconds because I do it so quickly. It's not even a big deal to me anymore, but Hopefully videos will start coming back regularly. I'm very happy and blessed to be moved into my own house If you guys were wondering where I am, that's where I've been But thank you for watching subscribe if you enjoyed the video thumbs up if you did enjoy share it with all your friends And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys